What's up, everybody? My name is Bob Victor and I run my own screen print company out of my parents' basement. Um, today we are actually setting up the new Accurate software and the new All Black system that I just got. Shout out to Laura once again. If you watched my last video, you know that she hooked me up with this. Shout out Solutions for Screen Printers and Freehand Graphics. Um, so I got my Canon Pixma Pro printer right here with the, with the stock colored ink. But I've been getting crazy amounts of orders for um, half-tone printing. And I've been rejecting them just because I can't do them. I didn't have this stuff. So now I just pulled the trigger. Now I'm just going to do it. I have an order for it that I'm going to do. I'm just going to start practicing, getting it all done. And I'm going to set this up right now. I'm watching the video to see how it's done, and I'm going to take you guys along with me. All right, guys. As you can see, here's the system. Apparently, it's only supposed to come with eight of these, but... And these were supposed to be, like, half the size of this, but, man, she really just hooked me up. So, yeah, shout out to Laura once again. I'm going to set this up. Get the syringe. I feel like a doctor right now. How do you, what is this? Oh, that's just a cap. You just throw this in there and yeah. All right guys, so now I'm gonna put this on there. It told me to take this off the yellow. I'm just doing this as I go. So if I mess up and I mess up, well, I guess that's good for you guys, because you guys should not mess up like me. Shit, that's, shit, that's black. Um, was I supposed to shake this? I'm going to just give it a light shake. Let's hope, let's hope I do this right. A little practice in. All right, and then what they said was just to stick it. Oh, I mean, right here. My bad. Just kidding. So I just stick it in here and do it slowly. Laser focus right now. I guess like that. It's only halfway, but I mean, that's what they did in the video, so I'm going to stick to that. Um, Damn, I didn't get any... Any of the tubes that they were talking about. Maybe it's in here. I don't know what's in here. I don't feel like getting up and finding scissors. Um, oh shit. Did I just... Oh, they give you extra. That's lit. I got gloves. Here they are. Oh, they give you extra nozzles and sh oh, That's lit. Shout out, Laura, man. If I can get this out. And then what you do is you just, you just close it, I guess. And that's all.
What's up, you guys? So I just did it. You saw the little time lapse. It's, it's kind of a tedious job. I mean, it starts to hurt your fingers, and I see why they gave you gloves. Um, I don't know if I'm supposed to wash this or not. I think I'm going to go wash it just in case. And, yeah. Um, now I'm going to take the ink out of the Canon Pro printer. And this just, just looks beautiful. I love black. is my favorite color. And, yeah, let's go do that. All right, guys, so what you want to do is basically open this up, take out this ink, and put in the all black ink, which is right here. So you just take all this out. And to be honest with you, I didn't even get the Canon ink that I'm supposed to get. I just got this just for the fun of it when I got the printer. And I mean, the ink's fine. And just put it in the order that you see here. So, magenta. Oh, make sure to take this off. If it wants to come off. All right, so there's some magic to it that you gotta do. Magenta, photo cyan. I don't know why it's so tight. errors and everything and you just close it now what you can do with these is just throw the regular ink on there and get like a little cover so it doesn't dry off and let's do a test print all right guys so now what i'm gonna do is print a test print and see how it goes because that's what accurate is telling me to do right now so let's go do that all right guys as you can see i'm having some issues printing i'm about to throw this printer across the room if this doesn't print. Um, it's just going through on the computer, but it's not printing right there. I'm not, it keeps blinking at me. It keeps The light keeps winking at me, but it's not printing. So we'll see. Over here, I did go through here and did the process, reprocess, and then it starts processing here, but nothing really happens. So we'll see. I'll keep you guys updated. That's so weird. I heard the printer printing. I thought it was just printing air, but it actually did just print the test print. Uh, that was super slow. I don't know if it's supposed to be that slow. Um, that looks... I don't know what I'm supposed to be looking at. It looks pretty decent. So they said a good nozzle check is supposed to look like this. So let's try a nozzle check. What you do to get the nozzle check is go to settings and then nozzle check. And then close. Should be right there. Uh, reprocess, maybe. All right, guys, it's printing right now. See, it starts printing and then it pauses. And then it just sits in there. I don't know why. Let's see how long this one takes. Yeah, see, it shouldn't take this long for a 8.5 by 11 paper. I don't know why it's taking so long. All right, guys, it's coming out. Do you see how slow that thing is coming out? It's been past five minutes now. And that thing is still trying to print. 
And it's doing the same test print when I asked to do the, I don't know. But this, this sucks. It just did some magic and that just printed so fast. I don't know why, whoa, whoa, whoa. What is going on right now? It's just randomly printing. But you see how fast it's printing now, randomly? I don't know why you're repeating, you're wasting paper, bro. Stop, don't print. <laughs> but it just printed this out. This was super slow, but the halftones are like crisp in this. I'm excited. And it gave like instructions, but yeah, those halftones are crisp. And then this, whatever this is, it's supposed to print exactly like their video shows. They show you how it's supposed to print. And I mean, that looks exactly like that. Yeah, fire. It's finally working. It's finally working. I'm happy now. Uh, the next step is to try to vector, not vectorizer, create a halftone from Adobe Illustrator like it tells me. And we'll see how that works. And yeah. All right, guys, I got a transparency paper that I'm gonna load in here because this is the next step, supposedly. And I'm gonna try it on transparency. Sorry if this is loud. So what you wanna do, the video shows that you should do a droplet test. Uh, where is that? Droplet weight density test. Then it should just process and then it'll start processing. Once it says 100% is when it'll print and I'll show you guys how that comes. All right, started printing. Let's hope this one isn't slow. Uh, all right, this one's going to be super slow, I guess. Yeah, it's just sitting there on pause. So I guess this is one of those that's going to take like 10 minutes. I'll resume this video and show you guys what comes out. All right, guys, that printer is still printing. It's been like 10 minutes and that thing is still hasn't even went inside. So I got to go. I got to go make deliveries. I got to go deliver these boxes of hoodies and masks. So I'll be back later and see what's up with that. Hopefully it's printed by then, but I'll catch you guys. All right, you guys, I just printed my first test print with the design a customer wants. Let's see how it prints. This is later in the day I came back. Um, remember that big piece of paper? This is what it printed. And it just printed something blank. I don't know why. I'm just having troubles with this. I hate when this type of stuff happens. I'm going to go try to figure it out and make it easier for you guys. It's finally printing. I think it is. I mean, it's just dancing with it right now. Now I hear the ink sliding. Yeah, it's starting to print. It's not too slow, not too fast. It's a good speed. I'll show you guys when it comes out. All right, guys, it printed this again. I don't know why it printed this. Has it? Oh, shit. Snap, it wants another paper. I guess it was printing mine next. I guess this is like the droplet test. What that was supposed to be, but it, uh, I don't know. There's so many different stuff. I'm going to try putting another paper. So the new paper, let's hope this is my design or my client's design. I really want to see how that turns out. It always does this thing where it takes it in and reads it same exact page again and, and it won't print my design. It's like it's printing all this stuff delayed from when I printed all this hours ago and I didn't want to print. And now it wants to print. It's like it's playing a game with me. And I don't want to keep recording all this rubbish. I want it to get to the end. But let's hope this paper... Because this is wasting a lot of ink. All right, that's cool. I just read it. So this is like my film tester where I go expose this. And all these droplets are different densities. And whichever exposes first is the one I use that will work perfectly with my screen so i'm gonna definitely do that i definitely have enough and oh look that's great it's printing the same exact 
paper again. I don't know why it keeps printing this. This is like wasting all my stuff. All right, guys, I don't know what to do. It keeps starting to print. Like, over here, it started to print my actual design. And now here, it just prints that. And it just pushes it out. I don't know what's going on. This is starting to get really frustrating. I hate when stuff like this happens. I might have just punched this machine and throw it in the garbage. Um, I don't know. I'm going to keep going at it. What's up, everybody? Um, this video, I mean, you guys just saw me like a second ago, but... In reality, this is me like a week later because this printer is just giving me nightmares. Um, so I just started trying it again. I'm spending like countless hours in this. There's no tech help. I gotta say that. Like nobody replies anything. Um, but it's finally, I think I'm finally starting to get it. I did a one test print and this came out nice. Half tones are nice. Other than that, it just kept printing like this, randomly, like this, there's no order. But now I feel like I got it. And if this works out, I'll tell you guys my experience and what happened and how I fixed it. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. All right, guys, I'm going to do my first print on this. I'm pretty scared. Let's just hope it comes out well. It is going on black shirts, so I really only test it on black shirts. So let's see how this goes. I really hope it comes out as I need it to. Oh my God, that is sick. Whoo! Oh my God. That's a beauty. I always see all these screen printers print that and I always told myself one day I would do that. And me seeing it right now, just me printing, oh my God. That looks like it came out perfect. I don't know if you're supposed to do a double print. I'm gonna just do a double print. You gotta check this out. Accurip is definitely worth it. I mean, the half tones in this look insane. Try to get it to focus. Look at his eyebrows, everything. What's up, you guys? I just did the test print, and check it out, man. It came out sick. I think it came out nice. For my first try, I think it came out nice. I think the client's very happy. So this side is a double print, and this side is a single print. I can't decide which one looks better. This one does look less white since it was a single print. This one does look more white and more opaque. But the only issues I did notice is, this is from the design point of view, these dots are not supposed to be there. I think it's the accurate. I think it's supposed to be like this, but it's making it transparent and those dots aren't supposed to be there. Um, but we'll see what happens. Um, I'm gonna figure it out. Thank you guys for tuning into this video. If you guys like this video, please like, share, subscribe. Um, if you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm just 21 year old, have a screen print shout out shop out of my parents basement i'm just documenting my journey and helping everybody else out so please subscribe 
for more videos and I got more videos coming up soon especially this one when it's done finalizing everything and I'll see you guys in the next one